Welcome to part three of Ether One. We're gonna pick up right where we left off. We just opened up this door with that combination. And uh, let's see what we got over here now. Furnace valve, okay. Steam valve. Man, I hope, uh, ooh, okay. I'm just gonna start messing with shit. All right, please ensure all valves are correct position before lever activation. Hmm. What's the worst that can happen? All right, they're obviously not in the correct position. I guess that's probably what we're going to figure out here in this episode, how to put those in the correct position. Hmm. Ooh, another note I can read. I hear calling as we work the ground, crying and begging for us to stop, pleading and bargaining as we bring our tools down onto the earth, rock and metal beneath our feet. Her waves are crashing against the cliffside in protest, cursing our industrial ventures, crying for her plight. This sounds like a poem. Um, I know in my heart that one day she will lash out and we shall pay the price, but what can I do, Mother Earth? I have mouths that I need to feed, a job that I need to do. The industrial man asks of me and I shall provide. As the machine brim with primitive, as the machines brim with repetitive life and the crafted tools claw at the rock face, I feel the unrelenting force of nature below me making its preparations to unleash its free form glory upon us. All right, that sounds like a prepa uh, like it sounds like a prepared poem, not a uh, letter that some person would actually write. But who knows? Ah, okay, there we go. So, right, left, left, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, left, left, right, left. Right, left. Right, left, left, right, left. Oh, well, that was easy. It's just exactly what it says it is. What did that do? Okay, that opened that door. All right, let's see what else is over here, though. Anything? Doesn't look like it. All right, let's proceed. Okay. So that was pretty uh, straightforward. It wasn't trying to trick you or anything. So hopefully The game remains honest like that and doesn't try to screw you. I like games that are difficult because it's actually difficult and not just because the game lied to you or something, you know. Uh, we sink and stir throughout the night, lurking through the unknown, uh, relishing the places where only children dare to go, dare go. Dank alleys and secret fields navigated with the aim and reaching of our of our adventurous and illuminated destination, hiding from our foes, our lamp in tow. Okay, so there's a poet who works in the uh, industrial mine. <laughs> Interesting. 
I feel like I'm missing a lot of stuff over here. I'm just going to open those. I don't know if it does anything. Yeah, okay. Sounds, some stuff. sights, and smells can help store memories forever. Hmm. A projector. I'm not sure how they got here, but I think they relate to our patient's history. Don't worry. You won't need these to progress this evening as they're an optional task. But we should at least give this one a try. They're an optional task? Does she know I'm playing a video game? That's an optional area of the game. You don't have to worry about it. <laughs> uh, okay. The things we touch throughout our life can stay with us in the back of our minds. Who is Jean? Oh, it's not letting me uh, go back to the hub area. Huh. Why not? Okay. Well, I can only hold one item now. That's weird. So already, it's different. Dan, who is this Dan guy? I can't find the air compression manual anywhere, which means we can't get the door to budge. It must be around here somewhere. And you were the last one to have it. Could you please find it and place it on my desk, Steve? Uh, I remember the last episode, Dan was talking I'll something about the air compression unit. Downstairs in the case for you. They'll be there whenever you want to have a look at them. It's not working. My triangle button's not getting me back to that hub area. I wonder if it's glitched or something, because it, it just had the triangle on the screen, and it's still not working. So, the bloody air hose have been clogged up again, which means I'm going to have to puncture a hole in the rubber pipes to clear the smoke up down here. And I don't care how I do it. Hmm. We had to seal the lower mines off the t to top the smoke spreading, to stop the smoke spreading. It's hell for the miners, and even though it's not ideal, it will have to do for now. For me. I'm, I'm really hoping that the game has not glitched, because it's not letting me go back to that hub area by pressing triangle, which I think means the game's glitched, because you're definitely supposed to go there. I mean, it just she just told me that I could go there by pressing triangle, and I'm not going there still. So that's, I don't know, I'm worried. I'm worried that the game's glitched. If I can't get back to that hub world, then how do I... Something ain't right in the mind today. A man could sense when something isn't right. It sinks up the it stinks up the air, making us sweat. I heard someone say they were gonna close the goddamn mine down entirely. The air compressor compressor keeps breaking, and we have no manual to fix it. We need a way to cut the ventilation pipes, otherwise we'll suffocate down here. Okay, so do I need to fix that? Is that what I need to do? I'm gonna put that bottle in there. I wonder if I need those gas masks at some point. The fact that I can't, the fact that I can't go back to the hub, I, I think the game is glitched. Although broken and fragmented, they hold the key to remembering the way we were. Oh, I hope that wasn't important. Okay. I 
think the game's glitched. <laughs> Which sucks. Like, I can't go get any of my items. I can't, I can't even, like, exit the game. I'm just going to exit the game real quick. And then come back just to make sure you will lose all unsaved progress. I just saved it, didn't I? So, just to make sure the game didn't glitch. Because it won't let me, uh... It won't let me go back to that hub area to get all my items and stuff. But who knows? I have a feeling I'm going to need one of those gas masks because they keep talking about fumes or something. Now I still can't go back there. Okay, well, whatever. I guess you can't go back there anymore. Have I read this yet? All right, well, moving on, I guess. I guess for whatever reason, you're not allowed to go back into that hub area. Is this where I came from? Yeah, it's so weird that early in the game you can you return to that area whenever you want by pressing triangle now it doesn't work so i don't i don't know if it's that's just the way it is now or if it's glitched because i have a feeling it's glitched because that I, I held that note and it said hold l or hold triangle to get back and then it, while it was on screen it still wouldn't let me do it oh my god Okay, this is just like another poem or something. I don't know. I'm going to stop reading those. <laughs> um, let's see. Alright. Pressure owner's manual. Hmm. Okay. I can't actually read the book, but I can hold it. Dark lifeless forms, her bodies lost in time, frozen forever, deep underground, eternally singing this line. Alright, uh. I don't know.
Huh? Am I... I guess I can't go over here. Okay. missed it. Alright, maybe I should read these letters. Their stark lifeless forms are bodies lost in time, frozen forever deep underground, eternally singing this line. The devil will have his way if you step into his lap. He will torture and torment thee, luring you into his trap. If you think you can escape his wrath, your mind is um, addled and lost. For the devil chamber is on your back and your life's your life will be the cost the devil's chamber should devils have a, an apostrophe unless they're referring to multiple devils all right good thing i read that now i know what to do Just kidding. All right, let's see what this note says. I hear the knockers. Is that supposed to be, I, does that mean I hear? I hear the knockers calling me deep down the mining shaft. The temptress of the sea is rolling. Brimcliff will have the last laugh. The miners left their homes that day to stop the devil within. They never returned for their supper, lost in a void and maze of tin. Weird, the blasts ring out the town before the world fell quiet the woman and sh the women and children cried out as the industrial machines went silent to so the waters are rising upward in the depths where no light goes i hear men screaming and begging have mercy on their souls goes and souls come on that's not a true rhyme i award you no points sir if you're gonna be an industrial poet you gotta do better than that. You gotta do better than that. Let's see. I don't know what's happening. I still don't know if I can actually... <laughs> I don't know if the game is glitching and that's why I can't return to the hub or it's because I just can't return. And it's bugging me because I feel like Maybe I could use an item or something to fix this, but I can't. Ha I don't have access to any of my items. All right, I've gone everywhere there is to go over here, so there's nowhere to go. I feel like I need to f fix this somehow. So let's see if I can fix it somehow with something over here. Hmm. Have I read this? Yeah. Huh. I don't know what I'm doing. Ooh, I'm gonna bring the book over here and smash that. <laughs> That's the only other item I have access to. So I might as well destroy it, obviously. Let's destroy something.
Oh, it doesn't let you put the book in there. <laughs> Come on. Seriously? Whoa, wasn't there another projector like laying right next to it before? I could have swore there was two. Where'd the other one go? Wasn't there two? Two parts complete? Huh? Did I do something? I'm gonna go get that part of the bottle and bring it over to the projector. Okay, that maybe that's what I need to do. Wait, what's that? Is that something? Oh, okay, those are the old bottle parts. Where is the... Maybe this can help the uh, projector somehow. I don't know. But it's the only the only idea I have up my sleeve, so who knows. Alright, nope. That was a bust. Yeah, why would... <laughs> now it seems so obvious. Why would a bottle... Why would a broken bottle help repair that? <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense. Man. I don't know what's going on. Okay, I could have swore that there was two pieces there. Two parts complete. Maybe I gotta find another piece of the projector. It's my new goal. Find another piece of the projector. Might as well have some music going while we make our way through this. Hmm. Alright. There's gotta be something over here I'm missing. Nope. There's gotta be another item somewhere that I can I can grab and then I can throw and smash it. I don't know what that would accomplish, but there's two smashy things, so there's got to be another item that I, I can pick up that I just um, I just haven't come across it yet or noticed or whatever. Hmm. Whatever. Oh. What did I just do? Okay, shut that off. What does this do though? Huh, I don't know what that does. That's probably what you're supposed that's probably what you're supposed to do though. Okay now this one's on. Well I'm afraid to cut that because now it's on and maybe something else is happening. Oh, okay. Well, this is on now. So we'll see. If it means anything. If not, I'll cut that one too. <laughs> Those, like, lines on that are animated funny all right well who knows
Maybe something opened up over here now. Seems like a long shot. Okay. Nope. Yeah, there's not going to be anything over there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cut that other one then. See if that does anything. Oh, no, that's the one I already cut. Alright, does that do anything? Doesn't appear to have done anything. At least over here. Weird glitching going on. No, oh, wait, okay. Is this a ladder? Can I climb up that? <laughs> Well, let's try over here for the fifth time. Well, I am once again stumped. I don't know. Hurry. Yeah, torn. Phyllis, come help me. I need your help. If I close all these, it'll activate the secret opening. <laughs> I feel like in real life I could just climb that. Come on. I could climb that. I've been everywhere so many times, like, I I've tried everything there's to try. Um, uh, I'm gonna bring that book and set it on that desk and see if that does anything. <laughs> That's the only thing I can, can think of. I, I know this book has been laying here and it has any purpose. Maybe there is a purpose to it and I'm just not f understanding. Might as well try everything. I can't think of anything else to do. That'd be pretty weak if that's what you're supposed to do. Are you joking? 
Oh, that's right. He did say he wanted you. Find it and place it on my desk. <laughs> that's funny. Okay. No, okay. This is what happened. This got... Okay, well, interesting. Okay, so I need to like, this game is going to be like, really, you gotta pay attention. I can't find the compression manual, place it on my desk. This is the compression manual and I just, for some reason, I'm gonna go get that, that bottle shard though. Oh, I can't. Okay, so I guess that bottle was a complete red herring there. It had no purpose. It was just there to distract me, I guess. But I did it. Okay. I still can't access the hub area. That's a good place to stop, though. Um, I've been playing for about a half hour, so. All right, well, we opened up a new door. And we have, I think that's the first of the 20 projectors. So that's good. So that's a good place to stop. Go ahead and save the game. And uh, we'll pick up right here in the next episode. Thanks for watching.